back up in the top ten, and that's Julie Goodwin, who you interviewed. I did a couple I of did. months ago. Yes. Um, did you see her on MasterChef on the last one? She didn't look very happy. I thought maybe she's no. maybe it was bringing back all the memories. Oh, no, she she's no thinking, longer the only yeah, MasterChef now, but she'll always be the first. Yeah, that's she'll true. Be the first, that's but, yeah. true. Did mm. you watch MasterChef this? Season? Only the last couple, because again, you... I don't have the patience to watch the whole series. <laughs> so I did watch the last one, which so, I thought was quite. And cool. who did you think? How did you think it went? Like, do you think Adam was a a good choice. I thought they were both very neck and neck. Yeah. yeah I did. I think they were both very neck and neck. So Julie Goodwin's books are on the yeah, top so 10. Yeah, so it's back up there. And yeah. I suspect it's because, um, you know, it, because she was back on the show. Probably. Yeah. yeah. So it sort of triggered that. Um, and the big hype about, you know, the new MasterChef. So she was getting a lot of yeah, extra press yeah, again. Yeah. yeah. So leading up to Christmas, we've got the new MasterChef book coming in. Um, I'm sure Adam will have a book out. Oh, I think that, well, that's part soon. of the deal, isn't yeah, it? So, it is. Yeah, um, We'll try and get him to Werribee too, like we did with um, Julie. Absolutely. Um, num- the next one is Mr. Nobody, which is a new um, Mr. Men book. Oh, really? Now, they don't come out very frequently I because there's so many of them. them anymore. Yeah, there's, there's like, uh, I think there's about oh, 90 or so Mr. Men and about 40 Little Miss. Okay. Yeah, and so many people co- in Werribee. Collect them. Collect them. Of all ages? And I, I don't think it's just the children. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, is it? okay. But people do like to collect things, don't yeah, they? So yeah, so Mr. Yeah. Nobody came out and um, it sounds like, uh, when I saw it, I thought, oh, this sounds like it's really sad, but it's got a very happy ending. Oh, good. Yeah, good. and so, um, and that's been selling really well. Um, Girl Who Kicked the Hornet's Nest. Um, which is the third book in the Stig Larsen um, series. Yeah. Uh, the Dukan, Dukan Diet, that's still doing well. Passage by uh, Justin Cronin, he's been endorsed by um, Stephen King. Oh, so he's okay. been given a really good rap. And the book Passage... Does that mean his, bo- his books are scary like Stephen yeah, King's? Yeah. I don't know. It's I've been told that it's a bit like a Holocaust type story. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, but with sort of sci-fi thrown in, or a bit of like a mix. you know, it's yeah, a bit unknown, of a mix. like what's happening, like okay. no one quite knows what's going on. It's, um, it, oh, you know, I'd be scared to meet Stephen King because the, the the things he comes up with in they spook head. me. <laughs> yeah, I know. You just wonder, oh, what's he thinking? I would not like to be locked in a, but a the dark passage house. Is like a massive brick of a book. Oh, okay. Yeah, but okay. like it's selling really well. So people must be getting into it in, um, in Australia as well. Oh, good. Um, Girl Who Played With the with Fire is the second in that series. Right. Um, the Flat Belly Diet, we're all thinking about summer now. Oh, so, can, I, oh can I get a copy of that? <laughs> I've heard it's really hard. And I think it, if it's exercises involved, it's going to well, be Well, someone hard. in my stores tried it. Yeah. And she said it was just really, and she doesn't really need to lose a lot of weight or anything, yeah. but she just thought it was really hard. Oh, wow. Yes. Who was it written by? uh, Liz Vecchariello. Oh, okay. I I don't know. I thought it might have been the one from The Biggest Loser. No, Mm. no. Mm. So that's number two. Yeah. And number one. Oh, what's number one? uh, Number one is a... um, I don't know if Immortals. It's an Immortal series is, again, one of those fantasy books. Books. I'm not sure if it's vampires or not. Okay. But it's uh, number four in that series, which is, which is Dark Flame. I bet it's a vampire because they're just so so popular at the moment. Yeah, but angels are doing really they're well. well. Yeah. I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear the mm, angels are angels now is a doing, bit nicer. It is, yeah. yeah. I'm glad to hear the angels are starting to get on top of those vampires. Yeah, I'm, really, I'm, I'm listening to an angel story at the moment because, as you know, I listen to a book in the car and read at the same time so that yeah. I've, I can double up on my... You don't, you don't, no, you don't read in the car. Not at the same time. <laughs> no, when I get home, I no, start no. to read. Now, let's clarify. Yeah. Jackie does but not I'm, read while she's driving. No, but I'm what, um, listening to a, a book called Fallen, Yeah. and the next one in this series is coming out soon, so I wanted to sort of get across it before. before and it, I, it's, it is, it's much nicer. Oh, I think so. Reading about angels. But also, too, the vampires have been around for a while now. Mm. It's a bit getting a bit over the old vampire mm. thing. But um, still so popular with um, with the young readers, though. I'm not quite sure, but anyway. Oh, we did a series oh, on that. It's not just young already. readers. It's the young at heart as well. Oh, true. Okay. Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 I guess it's the romance of it, though, too, really. They're really romance stories, it aren't is. they? It is. It's yeah. like the new Mills and Boone. Yeah, it is. It's except, instead of being just, you know, um, a prince or a knight. It's yeah, or a fam- cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, we won't go down that path, Jackie. <laughs> it's, a, it's now a vampire, isn't it? That's it true. Is. Okay. So do you know what you're going to talk about next what, next month? Yeah, we might make it a listener's show. Yes, let's make it a listener's show. And the one that we pick will get a prize. 
Okay. Yes. Well, I'll have to think about what the prize is. Yes. It'll have to be a good one. It will be. Yeah. So they need to let us know. We we'll have to have a closing date, say, by the 20th of August. Well, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got to the 20th of August to send us in um, some ideas for a show, the book oh, chat. in August now. So for the September show, yep, let us September. know what you want us to talk about. Yep. So if they send um, send through um, any of the sites by, yes. say, the 20th of August. Yes. And let us know what they'd like to do. Yeah, and we'll, and we'll, and we'll come up with a prize. We'll come up with something nice. We will. We yeah. will. That'll be great. Yeah. Um, did you want to go through the ABC bestsellers as well? Yeah, that'd be great. All right. Um, number 10 is Rick Stein's French Odyssey DVD. Yeah. Um, l- slow listening, delicious music for all seasons. CD, the CD you listen to while you while you're cooking. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, Planet Earth, the complete DVD. Yeah. Uh, Little Dorrit. Have you been watching that on the ABC? No. Oh God, and it's just what been, is it about? Um, it's it's a classic book. Okay. Yeah, that they've made into one of those BBC series. Oh, I see. I see. Oh, excellent. Um, Francesco's Italy, top top to toe. Uh, Doctor Who Series 5, uh, Dance Academy, which is a, a new uh, teenage show. Now, you've heard about ABC3, haven't you? Okay. The ABC sort of feel, had felt that there was a gap in their programming. Like they looked after all the children. Like yes, the, um, like the little school. kids, yeah. Yeah, and um, they really had a lot of adult-type content. So nothing content, in between, yeah. But nothing to sort of attract the you know, the teenage market. So that's what ABC3 is there okay. for. And Dance Academy's made it into the top ten, which is good to see. Um, Justine Clark, she's got a CD out called Great Big World, and that's doing well. Number two is Italian Food Safari. And number one is the uh, Doctor Who's Sonic screw t- Screwdriver Torch. Sonic Screwdriver Torch. Wow, well, we all need one of those, yes. don't we? Yeah, they come in very <laughs> handy when you're travelling on a, in a TARDIS. <laughs> <laughs> they do indeed. Now, coming up, of course, in August, we've got Friday the 13th. We have. Yes. Have so, you heard about what we're doing in the store? No, tell us a little bit because also, too, next week on on uh, Creative Corner, I've got Michelle Finney coming in, uh, who is an astrologer and author, and she's also going to be involved in Friday the 13th. She, isn't she? is, yes. yeah. At the plaza, um, uh, the, the centre is actually holding what they're calling Freaky Friday. And so a lot of the retailers are getting involved with that and um, putting on different things on the on the night. Yeah. Um, and during the on on August the thirteenth, we're going to have Michelle come to the store. She's got a new zodiac book out. Um, secrets of the zodiac. Yes. I want to know the secrets of the zodiac. Oh no. Mm. She said, "Look, I've been reading some of the stuff that she puts on her website. She's very interesting. And um, although she didn't guess my star sign." She said from oh. my email I sounded like a Virgo. Well, but she's I'm on not. the show next Thursday, so I'll see if she can guess mine. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, what she'll be doing at the, at our store is um, offering customers uh, a free reading for fifteen minutes. Oh, okay. So if you come along with your birth date and the time that you were born. Okay. Um, they're the two things that she needs to do a reading. Yes. Um, she'll sit down with the person for fifteen minutes and give talk. them a reading. Yeah. Store dressing up. We're going to be oh. freaks for the day. Oh, so have you decided what you're dressing Not up? Not yet. <laughs> I shall have to come and have a look. Hey, you'll put some pictures up on the on the social yeah, I pages. Will. Yeah, I will. Oh, terrific. Yeah, so that should be a really good night. I like it when we have interesting days like that. Makes oh, absolutely. Some, makes you know. And when you've got um, some authors coming in to um, yeah, and, lo- and, and particularly local ones, mm. it'll be really great to see Michelle. So don't forget that's Freaky Friday on Friday the thirteenth of August, which is Friday week. Yes, and yeah. but you need to um, bookings are essential for her readings because she's oh, only there okay. for a limited times. She's coming in for a couple of hours in the morning, a couple of hours in the evening. So you you must ring the store and make a booking. Okay, um, and the number is eight seven four two two one double zero. Excellent. All right. Well, thanks very much for coming in again this week, um, Jackie. You're very welcome. And you'll be back next next month for the first Thursday of the month for Book Chat. Yeah, and we'll find out what the listeners want, want us to talk about. Absolutely. So our topic is mysterious until yeah. they let us know. And don't forget that this Sunday will be the draw for the um, competition, which and the prize is? The prize is the 50 books you, you should read before you die bookmark, which is a beautiful stainless steel bookmark. So Terrific. Yeah. So that'll be... Um, um, announced on the social pages and if you don't get onto that we'll tell you next month okay yeah. well thanks very much for joining us today jackie and i'll speak to you next month okay.